Hey guys, I am Maskman We here, and I am welcoming you back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, um, we did shit. So anyways, um, yeah, welcome back. And, um, before we do anything else, we have to go, uh, we had to get this Poe over here, and yeah. So, I guess I'll see you in a cut, because I have to cut. No, I don't. <laughs> just kidding, um, let's go and just head back, I guess. This way, because I think we forgot something. Did we? Did we? Um, I can't remember anything. I fail! I fail at life, everybody. I fail. I just fail. 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 Okay. So anyways, it turns out that I had something to do right out here, so, um, yeah. Let's, um, continue on then. Um, wait. Yeah. Okay, um. So, what you want to do right now is actually, um, come out here and, um, just do some random shit, but whatever. Okay, um, so anyways, um, open up this door, and, um, we have some stuff out here, but whatever, so. Yeah, um, in here, in this room, actually, um, we got a couple of annoying things here, first off, being that we have a new enemy, I have to say. I don't know what his name, what their name, okay, they're, um, the, actually, oh, I forgot to mention these enemies, um, they jump right out of the ground and, like, try to attack you, um, you can just kill them with some cu couple shots from your sword, or, um, your wolf attack, but really, um, yeah. So I guess we should transform into a human now. Take some rolls over here. Watch out for those spiky things. If, they, if you get hit by them, then you lose a life. But really, um, they really don't matter. Um, they're hard to get hit by right now, but eventually late, later on in this temple, you'll get hit by them a lot. And um, one of these enemies. Um, anybody ever play Wind Waker could remember these. Uh, Robbie likes to play. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead. So, anyways, basically, this room's kind of weird. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get him over here. Kick his ass. Maybe. I don't know. Do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's push this thing over here. Mm -hmm. Can we walk up here? Oh, yeah, we need to use something with the. Um, that has to do with that thingy. I forget. <laughs> so let's try this then. Mm. Can't find the thing. So let's go. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What you're supposed to do actually is um take this thing, push it forward once. Now it goes into that block thing, goes into the ground. Push it uh, forward a couple times. Um, maybe um maybe, should, maybe back some. Yeah, maybe back one would work. Maybe kind of like yeah, yeah that would work out a little bit. Um, I can make I can make it work out that way because that way it'd be easier to make a run for it. I have to say, but it doesn't matter. So anyways, take this thingy and. Go ahead and do something with it. So just go ahead and pull back. When that thing goes all the way up, you have to, you just run like hell, and you'll eventually get to the other side. Run like hell! Yeah, or not so much like hell, but whatever. So, anyways, it comes back down. You might you might want to be sure that you get out of there, because I think you can actually get trapped in there. But I really wouldn't be stupid enough to try it. You can get trapped in one. Actually, there's one time you're supposed to get trapped in there, but it's not in that particular one. It's in a particular. It's in a different particular one that will have to be covered in the next video. But in, in, in this chest, we have the compass. And you can tell. In this way, you can tell what the chests are. Um, there's like a chest. I guess there's a chest to the. Um, oh, I guess we have to push this thing over here to get to that chest. Well, whatever. And there's a fire. And there's a fire. One of those go of those of those skull skulls that fly. Huh. So we're going to slash this thing and he can come in here and we got another Stalfo. I'm going to just get that thing. I'm just going to bomb arrow him. It's the only way I know of that you can kill a Stalfo um, in this game right now. For now. So anyway, except for maybe the ball and chain, but that's a di different item that we're going to be getting later on in the game that you will not know of. It's it's pretty, it's pretty obvious of what it is by its name, but I'm not going to spoil it too much. But yeah, that was a spoil right there, so let's go ahead and save. No, 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 no. Um, but um, yeah, it may be a spoil, but... Um, you know, uh, this game's been out for quite a while. Uh, not a lot of people have played this game, though, um, that I know of, really, but, yeah, yeah that's a little spoil right there. Um, it doesn't matter, really, because um, the ball chain is um, a really useful item, and you probably will recognize it pretty soon, um, uh, but how many, but what's the chance of recognizing it soon, huh? Well, I'm not really sure. I put it down, but, yeah, kind of. Uh, I don't know, I think it would be. Um, yeah, so it's going to be here now. Scream with any. Oh, I, I, I failed. So, so I just have to make a cut right there. Thank you. Just 
spawn these guys right here. Uh, you don't want to stay in the sand for too long or else you'll sink like I just did. Because I fail. Uh, well, that obviously pulls back on me. That was kind of a default right there. So you have to bomb out these things, really. Actually, and plug it down. Uh, I guess I bombed out myself, but that was not too good of an idea. Huh. Oh, you yeah, know, 20 rubies, huh? If you bomb out that, if I get 20 rubies or something like that. Okay, we have 390 rubies. Um, we don't have anything left to buy, but whatever. So I had to make a cut right here, because um, it turns out there's something left that we have to do in this room before we get to the next one. We have to dig right here. And then um, this thing comes out, we can pull it back. And um, I guess we're just going to pull it back right then. And um, you'll see that... It's the second post, so go ahead and just turn on your senses, turn on your senses, and um, try and get him down here. Just give him a little distraction. Come down here. When he turns blue, you can actually, when he turns blue, like a little bit lighter blue, like a, that you can actually kill him. But yeah, you, that's the time to strike. But they didn't do that with the other one, with the um, the first one. But they're gonna do this one. Try and go ahead and get like a try and go ahead and get like the Minda's um, hand out. That way it'd be easier to get him down. So we got um the third. I think it was like the 40th post. So yeah, it was the 40th post. So and um. There's the lantern, and we get the power of the lantern in us. Huh. So anyway, let's go ahead and like, uh, let's go ahead and turn back to where I was. I went actually going um, that way. Uh, uh, try not to stand this thing. Huh. I don't know what it could be. Well, I actually probably should could head in there. Is there anything left in here? No. Okay. So I guess there's nothing left in there. So let's go ahead and head in here. And there's a chest right there. I, if, you, if you can see that. I guess we could go for it right now, but um, we can't really find out yet. Um, yeah. what's in here? And it's a small key. Yeah. It's not that often that you find really um, useful items in those tiny chips and, um... Oh, we got some rats on this. These, these are rats. Oh, I forgot about these. These are ghost rats. Basically, they can make you slow down and they're really annoying. You probably would want to get rid of them really as soon as you could. Because they're not... Because, um, it's conducive to get rid of them. Because getting rid of them is conducive to completing this temple, really, I have to say. And we got a blue ruby. It's worth five. I don't know why I don't know why it just shows up on that one, but whatever. So if you can do some get these things off me right now though. Okay, um, now that we're done with those things, um, we're a little bit more ahead in the temple, so let's go ahead and head over this way. Um this this way leads all the way back to the uh, main room where we saw that where he killed the first Poe. And um we get a cutscene where the Poe goes back to where it was, and um, now that that's done with we have three Poes on this thing. Only one more to go. So let's go ahead and head over and get that Poe, but I guess we're going to have to try and get that Poe next time, because um, I'm running low on time right now. Um, well, a little bit low on time, because um, I guess I should end the video right here, because, um, yeah. Because um, it's a little bit conducive to end it right here, because we're going to get the Poe soon.